This program is brought to you by Emory University. Welcome to the Transatlantic Slave Trade Database video demonstration. The present demo will provide an overview to the five main sections in this website. The Voyages Database, Assessing the Slave Trade, Resources, Educational Materials, and About the Project. Compiled from archival resources located around the world, the Transatlantic Slave Trade Database includes records on nearly 35,000 individual slaving expeditions between 1514 and 1866. Understanding the database calls attention to the construction of the website, providing a user's guide, as well as details on the methodology, variables, and sources used in the development of this online resource. Search the database allows users to construct queries about specific voyages or groups of voyages to find information on slave vessels, enslaved peoples, ship captains and crew, slave traders, and trading routes. In addition, users can download to their computer results of their query as well as data displayed in summary statistics, tables, and the timeline. Download the database allows users to download the complete slave trade database with the full set of variables to their computer and versions of the website database in different formats. Contribute provides information on procedures for submitting new data to the website and automatic data entry forms for doing so. Located just below the top menu bar, the orientation bar shows the path to the page a user is viewing. It allows for quick return to a previous point on the path by clicking on a section name here. On the right side, the bar provides access to four types of help offered to users. A sitemap, FAQs, video demos of using the database, as well as a glossary of important terms related to the transatlantic slave trade. The next section, Assessing the Slave Trade, interprets information from the slave trade database in three different forms essays quantitative analysis and maps to provide historical context this section offers essays on different aspects of the slave trade including an overview of the atlantic slave trade seasonality and vignettes on particular individuals the estimates are an attempt to show the full extent of the transatlantic slave trade using data from historical records and recent scholarship. The introductory maps illustrate vividly the origins of the Atlantic slave trade, its development over time, how wind and ocean currents shaped its routes, and how it affected regions and ports in Africa and the Americas. Under Resources, users will find historical documents, maps, descriptions of Africans, and other more detailed views of the transatlantic slave trade that add to our understanding of the realities of this time period for the people who lived it. In the Images section, users can search or browse images relating to the slave trade, including renderings of people, vessels, historical maps, and various documents. The African Names database offers a compilation of more than 67,000 names of Africans illiberated from slave vessels captured by mainly British cruisers between 1819 and 1845. K-12 educators and the general public alike can use the educational materials section to engage deeply in the resources of the website and raise questions about the history and legacy of the transatlantic slave trade. Lesson plans spanning a range of grade levels and curricular standards provide activities and questions for better understanding of the slave trade and the process of historical inquiry. The Web Resources section provides links to other websites that offer a variety of materials including, but not limited to, lesson plans, interactive maps, and narratives of enslaved Africans. The last section, about the project, provides background on the history of the project, the project development team, contributors, acknowledgements, as well as contact and copyright information. Thank you for viewing this demonstration. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University. Please visit us at emory.edu.